today's video, Modern Jive Push Breaks. We love our push breaks. They're like the leaders thinking move. When we don't know where we're really at in the dance because we've just led some cool moves and I want to do a push break to settle it down. And as I get better at my push breaks, I start to want to style them up. So let's bring Kerry into the lesson and we'll just show what a normal push break looks like. We'll do it from two hands. Remember that we could do this from one hand or we could do it from the other side, but we're going to do it from two hands so we can work on some variations. All right, eight, one, two, compress, three, four, one, start again. But we want to change that up so that when I'm like, oh, I want to add a little bit of flair and I'm still thinking basic movement, so I would do it with a rhythm change or a timing change to where I'm actually going to compress or, you know, travel in a different direction. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, start again. I took my time allowing Kerry plenty of room to turn there. I could change that up and we'll go over this in more detail in a minute, but my timing is going to be on the four this time before I send Kerry out. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So there's two really simple variations that we can create a different angle, uh, slight changing the timing and working on the shaping as well. So let's go over the first one. All right, so I'm gonna start with two hands. What we wanna set up is that we compress on count two. Eight, one, two. So I've really made sure that I've expanded the connection so that that makes both of us come in forward. And I'm gonna do that as much as I need to get that girl early so her right foot is free to send her out. Now I may need to do a weight change there where I come forward, but hopefully I can maintain that balance, do my advanced footwork and hold. If and you keep the hands low between you, you'll actually realize you can press the shoulders down, engage the lats and the core, and feel that opposition, rather than having the hand up here feeling like you're really going to fall under. Really hard to do out there, because the girl would think that would be a rotational move. It's also not as balanced and grounded. So we'll try that again. Seven, eight, one, two, out, three, four. Now the girl's job, theoretically, she could come in. But really what she's supposed to do is fill a space and I keep that arm very consistent so that post stays until I want to bring her in and a little flick to the hip. So let's just break down the guys for work first. So I'm going to go five, six, seven, eight, back, one, two. Then I'm going to rotate as I send the girl out. I may need to point that foot in the direction I send the girl. I may be able to leave it back but it probably looks nicer there. And then I'm going to sink into that right knee and hold. When I'm ready to bring the girl back, transfer the weight, bring the hand in, frisbee flick, spin to the hip, and then step up. I may need to do a couple of weight changes or I may be able to hold to get ready to start on the one again. Yeah. We'll just go over the girl's So forward. the preparation foot would be the eight. We are backing back one. We feel him charging us, expanding those arms off the body, which brings us forward into him if we're being responsive and not having noodle arms. Then he sends us into opposition on three. Uh, I'll talk about different arms and, and directions in just a second. I gather, and you'll notice if I show you from the side, I'm actually taking my hips out there, I'm not taking my head and shoulders. If I take my head and shoulders out, it becomes heavy and you're actually pulling your partner over. So if we want to get into some depth of our opposition, then I do it with my hips. So there's my three. He could decide to hold this for longer, but the timing we've been doing it on is bringing it back um, five, six, seven, eight, and then going again. So now hold on the seven. Um, you may need to rotate the upper body. So when I'm connected here on two, and I release that left hand, I send the girl out, I sink. I want to look a little bit towards her. My hips are still, well, maybe slightly corner of the room, but my upper body rotates in so I can see what I'm doing. The girl can see, and then boom, I send it in. I've gone left and held, right for that upbeat, and then downbeat one is left and right for the girl. So why don't we do it from this side? Yeah, okay. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one. So I took my time there. I actually could have gone a little faster. One more time on this side. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 
five, six. So Kerry can feel the urgency in my turn there because I accelerated it, one, two, or that would be seven, eight in the music. So get used to doing that on those timings. Play with it a little bit, experiment, see how it goes. You can always send us an email or ask questions if you're not sure. I did say I was gonna talk about the different directionals here. So um, the thing that I could do if I'm not gonna turn and face my partner is I might reach away if I've got the space. I really do take a look at my floor and my neighbors because if I don't have the space there, I'm not gonna challenge them or charge them and get in their space. But if I am doing something of a presentation, then I can be looking away from my partner and doing the opposition, or like the original, I can be facing my partner Same and doing that, um, excuse me, opposition. Opposition. <laughs> yeah, because we have opposition. Actually, before you go, we're going to work on that count four. I wanted to sneak out so badly. <laughs> <laughs> you were tip <tip-tumping. laughs> All right, so if we do it on count four, it's going to feel like a normal push break where we come together on three. So we'll do that really slow. Eight, one, two, three. I swivel on four. I've gone to a ball action, so my right foot's pressing but not there. Send the girl away, and then I'm really focused and looking at her in the same direction. And then she can do the same styling that she did on the three, bring her in, and then connect up and go again. So, so for that footwork after we demonstrate it. Eight, one, two, three. See that? I didn't need to make that big expansion. Now four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And it really doesn't matter. There's so many more things I could do here based on the music. But now we'll just keep it like that. Go oh yeah, so eight, one, two, three. I get here four, depending on how quick I need to be there, rotate. Send her out four and five, or five. She hits six, and then if I want, seven, eight, one, two. And when he's compressing on the three instead of the two, our footwork does change. So we've got our preparation step for eight. One, two, we don't feel the urgency. He's bringing us in with a normal compression three, like a push break of B, but he's swiveling us. So our left foot is gonna travel backwards on four. Then he's gonna set us out into opposition on five, perhaps hold six. And then as we come back in, if we're fitting it into an eight count, we're gonna triple rhythm this seven and eight so that we can get back going on one. That's the time we're using right now, but it can be adapted, accelerated and decelerated depending on the musicality. Yeah, and I always like to think, if I'm sending the girl out, whatever count I send her out there, she stays and waits for me, so she adds the flair to styling. And there's a lot of things she can do there to match the music. When I bring her in and flick, she really has the choice. Single turn, double turn, triple turn, uh, variation footwork, chugs going round. I really can't tell her how fast to do it. I can lead it faster or slower, but that faster could mean more turns to her. So I've got to be patient, so I might be better off just hanging out there. So if I was to send Kerry, she does a styling, and I send her through, I'll just hang out, then when she's ready, I connect up and then we do our basic movement back into starting the dance. And really, I'm not going to try to pull something out of my rear end there. I'm going to be really focused on the music and really focused on my partner. So whatever I choose there will perhaps make sense to him. Instead and complement the music. Right, instead of trying to just willy-nilly come up mm -hmm. with something and he goes, what exactly what are you doing there? We're really working as a partnership here and not trying to say, oops, Let's try the music for that. I think right. that'll be good. Sounds this'll be good. a good test because we're not dancing to the music. Let me turn that to That'd be good. Five, six, ready. Yeah, that's 
good. All right, you can try those things, mix them up a little bit. Don't rush them, don't feel like they need to go too fast, enjoy. And look into the uh, more advanced videos if you want to see more variations on this type of push break.